Welcome back to more Creative Clubhouse. Boys and girls, we're so excited. We have Miss Karen Conley from yes. Haven Elementary with us. She's going to show us some experiments that you can do right there at your home. Miss Conley, welcome. Thank you. Michael has agreed to help me with my first experiment, and then RJ's going to come and help me with the second okay. experiment. Okay. Okay, the first experiment is going to have to do with convection currents. Michael, have you ever heard of convection currents? Well, convection currents have to do with the transfer of heat in fluids. And actually what happens is the uh, heat moves in the fluid, the whole fluid moves. So what I want you to do first, these are water. These have been colored red with red food coloring. These are clear. These are just little drink bottles that I bought at the store. You drink the drink and then I fill them with water. I wonder if you touch these and tell me what's special about these. That's right. Now, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. First thing I'm going to do is take the warm bottle, and this is a playing card. You could do this at home. Turn it upside down. Match the lids, the tops, the opening, so that the balance. Okay, would you like to help me do the same with this, except on this one, I'd like to put the cold water on the top. So if you'll take a card. Is this magic? No, ma'am, this is not magic. <laughs> this is science. This is science. <laughs> That's right. That's the first thing my kids ask me in the lab sometimes. Is this magic? If it leaks a little, that's okay. That's why I bought the tray. All right, now we want to make a prediction. Remember I said that fluids move because of heat and cold, right? Mm -hmm. Now, on this one, the hot water is on the top, and on this one, the cold water is on top. Now, I'm going to take the card out from this one first, and then this one. I want you to make a prediction. Now, re remember, prediction is just a good guess, and if you're wrong, that's okay. That's the way scientists work. Can you tell me what you think will happen with these fluids? The lead will sink down to the bottom, and the cold okay. will go up. Uh -huh. How about these two? The cold will sink to the bottom of the All right, well, let's give it a try. First, we're going to try this one. Now, I'm going to hold this, and you can help me pull the card out, okay? Just pull it a little bit. Now, let's look and see what happens. Wow. Right. <gasps> it leaks a little it? bit. Oh, where's the red going? Oh. It's just staying up here on top. It's like it's floating, isn't it? Okay, do you, have you got an idea why that happened? Do you know? The warm water is hot. It's hot? It's because cold water molecules are all packed together really tight, and it makes cold water denser, so it's heavier. And what does gravity pull on the most? Heavy, Heavy things. things, right. So it pulls the cold water down. So now that you know the results of this experiment, what do you think will happen when the cold water is on the top? Okay, let's try and see if the cold water will go to the bottom. Let's pull it out. Oh, look, look at that. Look at that. You it's see the red? The warm water has to go up because why? The cold water is sinking. The cold water is heavier. Oh, wait. Let's give her a hand. That's a great yeah. experiment. They can find that at home. Good. And if you were a little fish that, that couldn't control its temperature because you were cold, Flooded, what do you think you would want to go in the ocean? To the top or the bottom? Top. To the yeah. top because it's yeah. warm. Okay. Yeah. Colin, we only have about one minute left. Can oh. you believe? <laughs> Goodness, we're fast. Okay. Yes. Let's do this one really quick, and I think RJ's going to come help me. RJ, this is something you can do at home that's a lot of fun. This is mineral oil from the drugstore, and this is just blue water, if you would hold that for me. This is a funnel. All right. Now, make a prediction. What do you think will happen to the mineral oil when you put it in the bottle? Um, it might turn to a different color. Okay, fine. Let's pour it in and see if it changes color for us. Very quickly, one minute isn't long. Can you get one more bottle for we us? We sure can. And Please this is just plain old mineral oil. If the boys and girls want to do this at home? Sure. 
not very expensive either. No, it's not. Oh, it's beautiful. All right. It Look goes at it. into the mineral oil. It's, okay. it's floating. It's floating. Yeah. That means the mineral oil is lighter than the water. Now look what can happen I am if you do this. Would you take that bottle and kiss it back and forth? What do you have? Looks like waves. Mm -hmm. An ocean in a bottle. Oh, there it's it is. beautiful. Well, ocean in a bottle. Oh, and it's a great big hand. Our time you. is all gone. Boys and girls, stay with us. We're going to be right back with C.C. Turtle and a great song about sharks. We'll be right back.